the Martello Tower in Sandy Mount. When you come along the Strand Road in Sandy Mount, you will pass by a huge round tower, which looks a bit like an upside-down flower pot. Fifty of these Martello Towers were built along the coast of Ireland. They were built because the British government were afraid that the French Emperor Napoleon would invade Ireland during the war between England and France, 1803 to 1815. The first round fortresses of this type were built on the island of Corsica to protect villages along the coast from North African pirates in the 15th century. These towers were so strong that it took two British warships two days of continuous cannon fire to capture the one at Cape Mortella in Corsica during a battle in 1794. The British were very impressed by this and decided to build similar towers all over the British Empire, including Ireland, between 1804 and 1812. There were 28 towers built in Dublin, 16 on the south side and 12 on the north side, for example in Sutton, Hoth and on Dawkey Island and Kalini Hill. Their first name was Mortella. This was changed to Martello over time, so now we have the name Martello Tower. All towers were round and had walls that were stronger on the side facing the sea. They were typically 12 to 15 metres wide and two storeys high, with a single doorway five metres off the ground. The door could only be reached by climbing a removable ladder. The tower at Sandy Mount was one of the larger ones and had a one-storey building attached. This was used to house up to 20 soldiers and as stores. When it was completed in 1804, a small troop of soldiers were sent to defend it. Two cannons were mounted on top of the tower. Fortunately, the towers were not needed as the expected invasion never happened. A sailor, when asked what use the Martello Tower served, replied, the devil a use I can think of but to please Mr Wyndham, Secretary of War, and puzzle posterity. When the Sandy Mount Martello Tower was not needed for defence anymore, it was used as an office by the Dublin United Tramways Company. It later became a restaurant, but now nobody lives there. This is the case with most of the other towers. Close by, the Martello Tower at Sea Point was once an ice cream shop, while the Martello Tower at Bray was owned by Bono from U2. The best known tower is the one at Sandy Cove, because James Joyce, the author of the novel Ulysses, lived in it a short while, and part of Ulysses takes part in it. It is now the James Joyce Museum.